Another method of applying multiple materials to single objects is the use of a layered shader material along with a mask map. The term for this technique is masking. The layered shader material can have multiple materials as layers in the shader, so there is no limit to the number of materials you can use. You could have as few as two materials, for instance a sticker added onto the surface of an object that already has a material on it, or it can have multiple materials, for example a prop that not only has several stickers on it, but those stickers are also over two different materials. However, that can become a much more complicated process. For this lesson, you'll keep it simple and add just one sticker to your briefcase. However, even using this process can get you a result with complex blends between the two materials. This workflow is extremely flexible because it is geometry independent, meaning it does not rely on specific polygons having materials assigned to them in order to be able to use a certain material. This method can have one material that overlaps several material definitions and is defined by the mask map itself. The mask is a texture map that will reveal either the first material or the second material based on the grayscale value of the particular map being used. The level of complexity of the mask can range from a very simple checkers map to a highly detailed bitmap image that is hand drawn in a 2D paint program to reveal very specific parts of a model. For example, to create a rusty pipe, you can have one material be the steel pipe material and the second could be the rusty pipe material. By creating a specialized texture map to blend the two, you can create a very realistic rusted pipe effect.